I am a street kid and street kid is my name. None of the people I come across in the streets recognize that I also have a birth name. Unless of course they choose to block their minds to the fact that I was also born to a mother and father like them. An African father and mother for that matter. I was born Lyelishi, a beautiful day in Zulu, because even the sun celebrated my arrival. The beautiful day turned out to be just a fact. What a beautiful name for a street kid like me. Now my name is Street Kid. I live and survive on the bustling streets of Jersey, the city of gold. My home moves from under the bridge, onto the street pavement, and into an old abandoned building. I am a refugee in my own motherland. I'm just a child who has been denied the opportunity to be a child. I am a street kid. I do not miss the place that was once called home because it wasn't homely anyway. It was like living in hell, even if I do not know what hell is like. My mother was an alcoholic. All that she obtained as child friends went into alcohol, leaving me with no food on the table, no warm clothing, and no money for school fees. The monster called my dad was equally a drug addict and a wife patient. In his drunken stupor, he would be physically and emotionally abusive to my mother and I. Both of them have since passed on, thanks to their lifestyles. May their troubled souls rest in peace. I was told that my parents once came from an established family in the rural areas, where extended family support would have been provided. You see, in Africa we are a communal society, where all the children belong to the community. My parents' cousins are my mother's and father's equally, and I would have found support with them. What happened for my parents to find themselves in isolation from their extended families is beyond me. At least had I been born next to my extended family, I would have found refuge with them when my parents passed on. Now I am an orphan in all senses of the word. Gindandan, I'm a refugee in my own motherland. Miss Pepe, I'm the product of the breakdown of family structures, which is an African. Living with my parents in that home was even more traumatic for me than living in the streets. At least in the streets I can fend for myself. I haven't reached adulthood, but I manage my own affairs. After all, I'd always manage my affairs even when my parents were alive. My family is now the peer group of street kids I belong to for support. At least in the street, I had a surrogate family to cover my bed. With my surrogate family in place, I think I am better than the lonely rich kids in their big houses who only have their toys to tend to for friends. Prove me wrong. Being away from an established family means I'm culturally ruthless. I am totally lost. I have lost my moral compass. I exchange sex for money to feed myself. I frequently go on pickpocketing errands. I frequently shower passers-by passers who stare at me as though they are better than me with one or two ways of insight. If only my parents had introduced me to their extended family before they departed, I would have been in a better position. I am a stateless citizen. I do not have an identity document, therefore I cannot access the basic services. My so-called mother never bothered to get me a birth certificate before she departed from this world, let alone my monster did. Maybe I should fly away to Mars to start a new life and obtain citizenship gains. The aliens might just welcome me better than Mother is and offer me registration documents. Maybe I may be given the opportunity to have a sense of belonging. That's a dream anyway. My right to food is compromised. I'm not guaranteed any food on any day because I do not work. I have to scavenge for food that has been discarded by those who have access or access. The beans at the back of the restaurants and taverns are my source of food. Sometimes a good Samaritan will stop by and offer me something. How I yearn for a three-course meal while seated on a big dining room table some day is just a dream anyway. My right to health is denied. 
I lack access to water in the sea. As a result, I'm dirty and flea infested. I stink like a raccoon. How I could do with a hot bubble bath one of these things? It's a dream anyway. To escape the realities of life, I turn to drugs for comfort. As a result, I am suffering from depression. I am suicidal half the time. What have I done, Lord, to deserve this? My right to education is denied. That means there is no future for me. I can't even read and write. I watch from the corners of the streets as parents in shiny big cars drop off their kids in front of the school gate. One by one, child in hand, they hand over the boys and girls in neat uniforms, carrying beautiful satchels laden with books and wearing polished shoes to the teachers. How I wish it were me. I wish my mom had survived to do the same. In Tandani and the I could do with parental love and guidance. Without an education, I can't find a job. In my first state, who would allow me into their premises to seek a job? I don't have access to technology to apply for the jobs virtually so that I do not show my dirty face to the well and old, clean shaven employers and their partners. My right to non-discrimination has been taken away. There is a high level of stigma associated with mankind. We are labeled thieves, beggars, criminals and nikam poops. I don't blame them. That is our lifestyle. How I wish I could get rid of this street creed brain. My right to protection has been taken away. Being undocumented, I have no access to the legal system. Being part of street gang means I am drawn into violent activities. I am an object of abuse by those who know I don't have the protection of an adult. In response to all this, I am suspicious of human beings. I doubt I am a human being anyway. I am just a street kid. Street kid is my name. Unless a miracle happens, that is who I am.